it was little more than a tiny bit disconcerting. Dog owners in the Grant Park neighborhood of Northeast Portland are keeping a closer eye on their pets today after learning that a neighbor found a rabid bat in their backyard. So I think that's the main thing is being as vigilant as you can with your animal. It was a big brown bat, like the kind you see in this photo here. A family found the bat in their yard after they spotted their dog playing with it. We identified that there were no human exposures to this bat, um, and the dog was up to date on rabies, received an additional booster dose, and then we'll have a 45-day home quarantine. Lisa Ferguson is the communicable disease manager with Multnomah County Health. So um, we have occasionally in Oregon seen rabies in coyotes or skunks or cats, um, but it is typically all bat originating from bats. Ferguson says this is a good reminder to make sure your own pets are up to date on their rabies shots. And if you see an animal that appears to be sick. One of the most important things is do not handle it with your bare hands. The way that rabies is spread is through contact with saliva or brain tissue from an animal that has it. And so that's why biting is um, how it's spread because it's in the saliva. And bad bites can be small and hard to see. Sometimes you can get bit and not even know it, which is why Ferguson says if you see a sick bat, call County Animal Services or County Health and get your pets their shots. And especially now with the rabies going on in Portland, if people are kind of not up to date or on the fence about it, it'd probably be a good time to reconsider. And again, if you see what appears to be a sick bat, both Multnomah and Washington County Health Departments recommend that you call them first. Do not try to handle it yourself. Keely Chalmers, KGW News.